Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, it's going to be something a little bit different. I know you guys can already see Forza pulled up. This game has not been on the channel in a while. I've been low-key sleeping on it for a good minute. One second, we'll be right back. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm back. And... Like I said before, I've been low-key sleeping on this game, and I shouldn't have been because it's a really fun game. I really actually do enjoy playing it. It's a lot funner with friends, because typically whenever I play, I'm to be playing by myself in this. I know what y'all are already saying, Logan, you ain't got no friends. Shut up. Man, I got plenty of friends. <laughs> that is not correct. But, um... I'm going to be doing kind of a review today on something a little bit different, steering wheel, because some of you new Forza players, if you are still new, are looking for a steering wheel, and I am running with the Thrustmaster Spider for the Ferrari, and I'm going to give you my, does it suck or does it not, an <laughs> idea of my thoughts about it before you go and buy it so you can watch this and then what I say can make you go look up more reviews on this before you buy it because this is a hundred bucks and this was gifted to me so thank you Michael's mom <laughs> for gifting this to me about a year and a half ago I was very lucky to get a steering wheel because I didn't have one before I was just playing on my Xbox and then I moved to Master Race PC so I'm gonna get to this, I'm gonna tell you guys why I play, how I feel about this, and I'll show you a few different times of me going faster, slower, shifting wise, and this is paddle shifter, there's no stick, which I don't like, I prefer a stick, and I'm really looking forward to getting one this summer, and a new Hulk steering rig. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get to it, and we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, starting off, this, there is pedals, for those of you who are not familiar with the steering wheel in Forza, they're at my feet, obviously, which is, you won't be able to see that, I'm not gonna like move my camera way back behind me where you can see my feet. So, first thing I notice whenever I'm playing is the paddles are very light paddles, they're very easy, you barely push and you're already... I mean, I don't even have it, I barely even have it at halfway, and it's moving pretty fast. Another thing, the brake pedal is a lot heavier than your throttle. It's definitely a lot heavier. And whenever I'm... Yep, see, that's another thing with this, is the paddle shifters, I mean, I can't turn it to automatic, but... I don't really like automatic. I prefer manual. And as you've probably seen with, as you can see how you heard the uh, right there, because I have to, there's like a click with the pedal and that's not me. I treat most of my things fairly nice other than this RC car. I've already thrown it off the back porch before, but the pedal is fairly stiff and there's a point where you're pushing and you're pushing and then it just lets go completely and that's typically what that click is and then that's what why it stops suddenly and as you see a second ago you seen me turn the wheel and you just seen how the car just completely shifted off to the side oh hello um ah <laughs> oh, whoops but, um, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys that real fast, actually. Okay, I'm going to barely turn to the left and watch. Okay, and I mean, you can see I barely move the steering wheel. And it's a drastic, I mean, barely. 
mean, and that could turn full, and then, you know, it's all the way. I don't know, the battle shifters are pretty nice. Honestly, I kind of like them. I mean, I'd, like I said, I'd rather have a stick. But they're pretty nice. The steering is honestly pretty hard. I'm going to be honest. Because whenever you steer, it's light in the beginning, and then once you start to get past about here, it really starts to pick up some weight. And then you also have this problem, which I really dislike about this steering wheel. Sorry about the dog in the background. I really dislike that about the steering wheel because whenever I'm trying to drive, and if my hand slips the slightest bit, it automatically jerks back, which I really don't like. So, I'm going to show you guys here in a second what I mean by it's jerk back. Fast. Let me get in here. I mean, as you can see, I'm barely turning the steering wheel. I've, that's all I've got to do. Here's a better comparison. So you can see the guy's hands inside the vehicle. And you can see how barely I'm moving the steering wheel. And you can see how much he's moving his steering wheel. The reason I want a different type of steering wheel is because there's a... The type I'm wanting, it actually is the exact same as he's turning. So, you know, you have to turn a lot more to turn. Like, okay, that sounds kind of dumb. But... But... With this, when you... Barely, I mean, look, you can see it in his hands. So, whenever I barely turn, how much he's already turned, and I've barely turned it any and automatically so I barely turn it I'm already sideways which is really hard to get used to for this type of vehicle and also supercars because here I'll show you a supercar real fast that is really bad with this vehicle or which is really bad with the steering wheel my bad let me go over here let's do do the Lambo And you're going to see what I'm talking about whenever, as soon as I start to turn, watch. All the way, and I barely turned any on my actual steering wheel. And so, watch this. There. That's automatically... Right here is as far as it's going to turn, and as you can see, me driving in a circle here. It's it's definitely a heavier... I, I really dislike that. That's the, my main pet peeve about this, is the steering wheel itself. Everything else I really think is fine. I think that this is a little sticky. I really don't like it. The paddle shifters are fine. All the buttons, which are fairly easy to use once you use them a little bit at first they're kind of confusing but whenever you first the throttle like I said in the beginning it's very you know the throttles okay I guess I, I mean it's not top notch but I mean it's good for a beginner your braking system not so great I definitely dislike that because whenever you're trying to brake and if you need to brake fast because you know you're trying to make a turn and races like how I am I'm typically I'll go up make a break and then I'll hand brake and turn into it and drift and and this whenever you do that it's just that pop and then a sudden stop so you know that's a little bit much for me and one more thing I forgot to show you guys whenever I go down here I know here I'll plot an all-wheel vehicle or a off-roading vehicle for you guys because I know you guys really want to see that maybe maybe not even if you do or you don't I'm still gonna show the people that do oh! so I'm definitely gonna, gonna go down here real fast all right so as soon as I start to turn
So as you can see, I'm barely. And I've kind of learned the steering wheel a little bit better, but I didn't, I barely turned and it automatically put my sideways. That's another problem why I can't do rift races on this wheel. I typically have to just pull my keyboard down and play with it because I'm a lot better. But I've gotten to the point where I've kind of learned the steering wheel a little bit so I know how sensitive it is. And you know, maybe that was the way it was meant to be built. I, I don't know. But it definitely is a little bit harder for me because I'm the type of guy I like to be completely in sync that I, whenever I turn the wheel this far, the guy in the vehicle turns the wheel this far. It's not, you know, I barely turn the wheel here and he completely... <laughs> that does definitely kind of frustrate me a little bit. But I mean, I'm still very happy to have a wheel. I'm very thankful for it. Because, you know, not a lot of people get to have a wheel. So, you know, I just want to make a quick video for you guys. That way you guys can see how this was and my review on it. So definitely rating 1 to 10 I probably would give this a 5 maybe because the throttle and the shifters are pretty nice the buttons are a little confusing at first but you start to learn them gradually so brakes not that great the wheel definitely kind of garbo I really am not a big fan of it and the there's also two buttons underneath the paddle shifters they're located directly below there's a little groove and you'll fill two buttons you can also use those shift as you can see i'll click you can see i go up to six then i'll go back down those are pretty cool i did like those because for a while i got annoyed with the clicking so whenever I, my parents were in bed you know they my dad would wake up and he would text me and he'd be like what's that clicking noise because it would literally be you know that can be that can be pretty annoying so you know for a while I'd use these that's that that was pretty nice in my opinion because that way you know if you're trying to be quieter you can use these because they're completely silent and yeah so that's my review on the spider Ferrari wheel for Xbox even though I'm playing on PC it's okay if you're a beginner but if you're looking for good quality I don't think this is the way to go because it is definitely stickier and for maybe if you're not a person that likes to you know get the full rotation of the wheel okay that's on you but in my opinion I definitely go with like a g-force or something else because or a diff just a different type of Thrustmaster because this is also a very small wheel my hand almost completely is the size of the wheel I mean it's a very small wheel and I have big hands so you know maybe that's another problem because I typically hold it with my thumbs through here like this that way I can shift here or if I need to I can just use my pinky to shift these ones down here and you know I can use my thumbs for the handbrake which is a or B and, you know so on and so forth so I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe actually I'm gonna wait a second because half I think you guys aren't even subscribed that watch my videos, so I'm gonna give y'all about 10 seconds to go and subscribe. No. Have you subscribed yet? Better go do it. Like, because we're almost in milestone. You have to go do it. Please. <laughs> For my sake and my sanity, please go do it. Okay. 10 seconds is up. Now I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds to go and like the video and comment if I should play this game some more or what my next video should be on. Okay, I hope you guys did that, because if you don't, I know where you live. Trust me. Don't let me catch you laughing. If you haven't liked or subscribed or commented, or hit the bell icon, that we get notified each and every time I post new content, because I know you guys love that stuff. Just, I just get on here and record. Okay, don't be hating on me. But seriously, like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. Hurry, before it's too late.